Yeah, how you doing everybody? Um, it's, what day is it? It's Wednesday the 16th. Uh, and it's around midday. And uh, I was just looking at a, at a, a video. And uh, this is my response to it. And so I'm going to post it. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm, I'm gonna, I've never done this before. So I, I, I feel I have to respond to it because uh, I subscribed to this guy's videos and uh, he very, very it's a modern mystic this man is and he's a very intelligent man, very very bright guy and all this. But he just posted a video and uh, I, I have to answer it, I have to I have to I, I, I have to respond to it in some way. So i think he's been the devil's eye, I think he's probably waiting waiting, waiting us up. That's what I that's what I think he is. Anyway, my, my, the, the video is called There's a Lot More Future to Come and it's only he's only put it up uh, if you want to look at it, I'll, I'll, put, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll put the little link and you can have a look at this video, okay? And then um, this is my response to it. And uh, Nick, I, I don't know whether or not your wine is up or whether or not it's a, you've been the devil's advocate or something, but I, I just want to pose a couple of questions to you. These two questions. And, and be direct about the answers. Don't, 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 don't be waffling. Who do you think modern western capitalist society is organized for who do you think it's organized for do you think it's organized for the the classes at the bottom of the triangle the capitalist triangle do you think it's organized say for the dysfunctional classes or the lump and proletariat or the working classes do you, do you think it's organized for them or do you think it, it just might be organized a little bit for the people at the very top they might have a little advantage. But what do you think? That's the first thing. Then this business about contracts and about turn up contracts that you mentioned from one of the earlier videos that you're commenting on about from Gary. Let me ask you a simple question. Do you seriously think that the vast majority of contracts that are drawn up are one corporation and another corporation with one set of lawyers and another set of lawyers? How does this grab you, Nick? The vast bulk of contracts that are drawn up, okay, are drawn up where an individual goes into a corporation. The contract is already drawn up in favor of the corporation by their lawyers. The man in the street, when he goes in to sign the contract, he doesn't go in with his lawyers. He doesn't have a set of lawyers. He goes in on his John Sloan on his own and he signs a contract for whatever purpose to borrow money or whatever it is or he enters into a contract a commercial contract or whatever it might be all right or, or, or a work contract who do you think that in real terms who do you think that contract favors at the moment that it's signed do you think it, it favors the man who's walked in off the street I don't think so Nick all right no the arbiter of that contract should the contract go belly up You'll go to the courts for that contract. And who do you think the courts will favor in the contract? Do you think they're going to they're gonna favor the man in the street, the working class man? Or the man from the lump and proletariat or his wife? Or the man or the his wife or his children from the dysfunctional classes? I think not. And the proof of that, Putin Nick, is in the Pokey Joes all over Western Europe. If you go into them any day, apart from the violent classes I'm talking about, you go in, certainly in the country I live in, the so-called secular enlightened Republic of Ireland, it's full of ordinary people who've simply fallen foul. It's people who can't pay their fines, people who've fallen back on hard purchase agreements, and people who can't meet their credit card agreements, and people who've been thrown out of their homes uh, by mortgage companies. The proof of the pudding's always in the eating, Nick. It's no, it's no use talking around and, and round in circles about this. Society, modern society, is organised for one purpose and one purpose only. It, modern society, Western capitalist society, is a monarchy society with the monarchy removed, that's all. But still the same people are on it at the top. They're the people with the power, they're the elite. That's all. It's, it's not. It's not. It's not. Uh, it, this is not romance or debates or uh, a debating society going on. This is cold-blooded stuff. 
People lose their jobs every day. They get thrown out. They're, they're, they're like chattels. They're, they're just hard fire. Thrown into bins. And it's only when that becomes so big and so great. The, the, the inadequacies of society just fail. That there's something that forces society forward. And brings, a, brings about some sort of dramatic change in society. You live in a country where it happened in the 17th century. And five times, five friggin' times since that. The monarchists have been in the wings waiting. That's the fifth republic you live in. This is not a benign society we live in. This is a conspiratorial society. Set up for the maintenance of these people. At the top of this fucking triangle. Anyway. Nick, I love you to bits. I watch your videos. You're a great guy. Just, I think you wind people up too much.